Oh my God. Oh. Oh my days. <laughs> it's, it's good. It, it, I have to admit it, like. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Right, we're still freezing, we're still in Leeds. We've done the in the studio test on both drivers. We've done an on course test with the QI10 Max. And now, a lot of people messaged me and said, well, it's not fair, you didn't do the AI smoke on the course. So this video is just for you, Peter. We're gonna do the AI smoke paradigm versus the brand new, well, both brand new, brand new AI smoke Callaway paradigm driver against the brand new tailor-made QI10 Max. This is a big one. What we're gonna do is we're here at Howley Hall on the 10th hole. It is a bit of a naughty hole. We've got two bunkers, which I'm hoping I'll be able to carry, but I'm not sure because it is freezing. I was hitting this about 260 yards, like stiff, I'm cold. 260 carry, I'll take it in winter. I haven't hit this yet outside. So I've got both these head to head. I'm gonna hit six drives with each. Um, whatever happens, happens. We've got the GC quad, so we will look at the data every single shot and we're gonna see which wins. It's simple. If a ball's on the fairway, you get a point. Six shots each. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna be the most consistent? We've done it in the studio, and this one was a little bit better. But this one, they say, is even more forgiving than ever, with off-center hits out of the toe and the heel. Let's test it. Right, so first we're gonna do the AI smoke. <clears throat> Again, it's got um, a shaft in similar to what I'm using. There's no weight on this one, so we kind of like kind of move it across. It is the Max D. But yeah, let's go. Fairway gets a point. That's the rules. Right, I haven't actually hit the AI smoke outside yet. Smoky. It's a bit of a naughty fairway, this one. Oh my God. <laughs> AI smoke. That is so big. You see how far it's gone? 264 carry, 2,200 spin. So that's just gone further than the QI-10 on course test. Yep. Oh, I'm interested now. I am interested now. I thought it was going to be another little whitewash by the uh, by the QI-10 Max. The, well, this came out of nowhere. The paradigm is not going down without a fight. Go on then, Paradigm, let's see what you got to take two. Oh! Oh no, it's gone. It's just Drew left. Hit a tree. That might have been adrenaline. 250 carry, no spin. That was probably a bit of me, but hey. Right, let's slow it down. Let's get back in business. Little fairy one, get over the bunker. Fairway, oh, middle of the fairway. That's got miles as well. 253 carry, 1800 spin. Spin's a little bit lower than what you'd imagine, but look, like I said, all kind of things are gonna to happen today. With the swing, I mean, I'm gonna sneeze because I'm full of cold. <coughs> you guys at home, the warm coffee. Here's me like an idiot out here hitting the hitting these for your entertainment. Well, it's kind of my entertainment as well, but it is cold. Right, we've got a fairway. Ah, oh, that's gone left again. Not bad numbers, I'm just probably just falling back on it a little bit and just, all right, two left. Oh, there you go. Down the middle. Left hand, it might be long. This fairway actually runs out a little bit. Oh no, it's come back. Ooh, if you had in off fringe. 153 ball speed, 1800 spin, 260 carry. They are very similar, really, when you think about it, innit? The numbers are so similar. I feel like it's almost gonna be a test of forgiveness. That's basically what it's gonna be. That's the reason I chose the ping last year i couldn't care less if a driver goes six seven eight yards further couldn't care less right i want the most forgiven driver there is and last year it was the ping is the paradigm as forgiven 
at the minute I'm going to say no. Is the QI 10? We'll find out. Oh, that's a nuke. That was nice. That was nice. Has that gone past? That's gone past. Oh my god. Two. That's good numbers, to be fair. Two 2,200 spin. Pretty much perfect spin. 260 carry, 155 ball speed. Like I said, them kind of numbers in about five layers, freezing cold. This would be very interesting to see in the summer because them numbers will be up by about 20 yards. Right, that's the end. I think we've got about three. I want to say, I want to say 50% in. The other one was unlucky because it went straight, but it went long left. Right, now it's the QI10's turn. Let's see how many points the QI10's got. Like I said in the last video, we just did the QI10. You wanted the comparison and the AI Smokes came back for a fight, by the way. QI10, are you going to hold it? Are you going to keep the name? Oh my days. Oh my days. That is so good. It's landing now. It's got a 259 carry, 2200 spin, 154 ball speed. Talk about consistent numbers. They're both exactly the same. Exactly. I wish I'd actually brought my ping just to have a little stab at it. Because these are identical. So maybe there isn't a winner after all. Maybe they're exactly the same. It is going to come down to which is more forgiven. Oh my God. I have to say it, this club is good, man. That is, that's, let us guess, 260 carry. Oh no, 252, we lost a few yards there. Again, 154 ball, 152 ball speeds. We lost a couple of mile an hour. Spin, 2-2 two, two again, really good. That's the most impressive thing. My ping at the minute is just spinning a bit too much. My ping might be like 2-5, 2-6, 2-7, sometimes even 2-3. So one thing I'm liking about both of them is the spin is very, very optimal. If this goes on the fairway, TaylorMade have got a driver on their bloody hands. Surely. Surely it can't. Oh, it can! Woohoo! Go on then, cut a little bit. Coming down, Tom, coming down now. Again, a little bit more spinny, good ball speed. I'm really happy with my numbers, to be fair, considering what I'm playing in. It's, it's good. It is, I have to admit it, like. And do you know what I'm going to say as well? And Tom will back me up on this. Tom, come here. Tom's coming in, Tom's coming in. What was my bad shot with the Callaway Rogue driver two years ago? They're like, fall out the sky, dive bomb left. Left. What happened with two or three of the Callaway shots just before? Fall out the sky, dive bomb left. They both went left. Like knuckleballs. It's a, it's a we I'm not hating on Callaway. Like, a lot of people can hit them really well. For me, for some reason, it's one of the only drivers that like, really, really just go Ugh, left. Mm, left and, and they did and it, it goes left it, it doesn't happen with any other club so I don't know if it's just me and Callaway don't really get on but honestly it seems to always happen with the Callaway driver they always seem to go left and the tailor made has gone straight and if not faded my ping fades it, it can't do it four in a row can it it did it did another test like got to admit consistency Oh my days, this thing's a freaking joke. 261 carry, 2-1. This is this is unbelievable. It hasn't just beat it, it's absolutely annihilated it. You wanted the video. I, told, I said on the other video that it, it done well. I, f I actually feel really bad doing videos like this. I'll probably just have Taylor made exec freaking knocking on my door. This is what the people want. We don't want to see freaking plus three golfers ripping the driver and then we go buy it and we can't hit it, right? This is me hitting it in freezing cold, not in freaking Abu Dhabi, right? I'm hitting it off the mud in the freezing cold with a woolly hat on, a snood, four jumpers, and it's performing.
and that's how we're going to be playing these drivers. We're not going to be in friggin' Abu Dhabi. <sighs> if it does his fifth one, well, I'm not even going to bother hitting the sixth. There's just no point. Come on, just for just for barrel of laughs. Oh, that'll be one bad one. There's my slice creeping in. So one bad one. So talk about consistency. We've hit well five drives. We've got a six ball left. There's no need to hit it because the other ones are on the fairway. I don't even need to go down there. You've seen them on the shot tracer. I'm sorry, but for me, I just, I just find something really, really weird about that. I just find, honestly, with me, I don't know if it's me and Callaway drivers. I had the Callaway Rogue and my bad shot was always left. Every other driver I faded or I hit pretty all right. Obviously then I moved onto the TSR2, that was all right. And then I found my absolute baby, um, the Ping G430 Max. I honestly didn't think anything could match it for forgiveness. And I didn't think anything can match it for just delivering that level of consistency. Well, this is again, a tight fairway. And we've just absolutely in winter smoked four or five drives like literally down the middle, absolutely nuked with literally really, really good data to back it up. So for me, in the test, like you see, we lost a few balls left, a few went, a few drew a bit too much. There's probably, don't get us wrong, if you can hit these, it will bomb. But that, I hit some good shots. The actually longest drive of the day was this, with 264 carry. But that four yards, one drive extra, for me is not worth losing the forgiveness of the QI10. So maybe you shouldn't have, TaylorMade shouldn't have got all forgiveness on the stealth. They should have just waited for the QI10. For me, the clear winner is a TaylorMade. Well done, get in the comments, what do you think? They're both good, but QI10.